check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is gonna make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Aus Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Hep Leskovic brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Chris! out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. Well, that was magic flying. Run! Oh, well. <laughs> she told me to run. She didn't warn me about that. Ow. You need to go. Sigrun, we're in. There are three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's genetics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find the 
find a Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I like how I end up killing the person I wasn't even aiming for. Get off that laser. Yeah, the shotguns still feel extremely powerful. I think I like the, uh, the shotguns. The automatic shotgun in uh, the original Wolfenstein more. I need to just start calling it the New Order. I can't just call it the original Wolfenstein. Then it gets super confusing. Hi! come from Oh, I saw armor. Dude, I do have those upgrades. I got all those upgrades. My health isn't dropping. Still over this way, but I this just leads around. <laughs> That's where I came from. Yeah. Okay, then how do Oh, wait. Okay. Nope. I like how originally that stomp made sense. Because I had the suit. But now it's just kind of like, eh, I can just stomp because fucking BJ. Okay, what do I do? Do that is do I really have to pull the switch and it's just not letting me? No. There's just something I'm missing in this vent. Can I just climb over? I 
Okay, for real, what the fuck? I have no idea where to go. What is this? Let's go back to where I came from, I guess. Never mind, I can't. JK. Well, I guess... I can't go up there. There has to be something to do with this vent. Or not? Dude, I don't know what the hell to do. Maybe they'll open the door for me. Oh. Fucking shit, I looked at the ceiling so much. That was fucking obnoxious. Once again, I will forever have a problem with the stupid fucking... It saved while I was in this vent. Why? Or did it save... It saved before I even cleared this area. I was fucking... What the hell? Okay, well, at least now I know where to go. Your alert means nothing to me. What did you have? Ooh. You have one of these auto shotguns. Oh, I thought there was like glass there. Oh. Don't jump down after I chase you. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I tried to do like a takedown from above, it just didn't quite work. Let's see. V A L A 
H A L L A. Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. At this point, I'm just kind of charging through with the shotgun and saying, I don't care anymore. I still have a lot of ammo with this thing, holy crap! Oh my god! Dude, what are, what are the shotguns in this game? What do they actually shoot? They sure as shit don't shoot shotgun shells. William, I need some help here. Hurry, please. Dude, I'm, I'm waiting for her to start going into birth. Like, it's going to happen this mission. I have a feeling this is the last mission. And it's just going to. Because they've been leading up to it the whole game. William, I'm in here. William, jump into the transport pod there on the other side. I've reprogrammed these to take us to the upper parts of the ship. We can reach the other Olean control centers from up there. Oh, I dropped my shotgun. Sad. Hold on. I love you, William. shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center. How in the world did he see me? That, that is kind of nonsense. He wasn't even looking at me and then suddenly he's like, oh there he is. Dude, even the SMGs are so strong that like William, nothing I'm matters. Closing in on the Odin main control center. Let's meet there once you've disabled the starboard defense system. Oh, so that, was, that was what I was trying to do. You know, I think these SMGs are probably the best in the game. Like, the best guns in the game. 
You rarely ever need to actually shoot at range. So... Nice shotgun ammo. Okay, that's what I thought I had to do. I just got a bunch of SMG ammo. Ooh, that's a cliff. William, now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. I'm outside the Odin main control center. Lots of activity in the place. Get here as fast as you can. Ho! Oh. Okay, get, get up, run. There's a lot of enemies in here. Oh, my shotguns. <gasps> Hi. Please get me out of this animation. That's health. That's not health. I could really use some health right now. Okay. Oops. And I got one of these again. But I'll take this. No, never mind. This still has more ammo. Oh. There we go. Okay, I'll take this again. That's the way I came from. That's the way I need to go. All right. Oh. Okay. God damn it. Well, there goes that shotgun. I like how he just kind of got hit by it and then was like, what? Oh, jeez. did not work.
must be the open main control center. I'm on my way, Anya. I can't see what... I'm pretty sure he's looking at me. I can't... Okay, turn around. Do not turn around, please. What? It gave me the the prompts, but I just fucking fucking no. How about no? What is that? It gave me the prompt to do a takedown, and instead I just threw a hatchet. Must be the old main control center. I'm on my way, on you. Well. Fuck this. Alright, let's see if it screws me over this time. Well. What? He was alive. This has no ammo in it. Can he not shoot at me from here? I guess not. Alright, well, I'll just cheat the system, I guess. Still enemies nearby. Stop charging. She was just shooting me in the back with a shotgun. Look at my health. So, Drake, as it turns out, I do have all those upgrades. Aw. As you see, my health is not going to drop at all. 
Oh, what are they? Oh, that was a regular dog. I don't have a robot. A robot, wow. I don't have a grenade. Oh my god. I didn't die. I got knocked over and I didn't die. It's fucking huge accomplishment. Why is this gun so good? It, this game has sort of the same problem that the first one did when it comes to the upgrade system, to where it just sort of is there, not explained, and also not... Like, you can literally play the entire game without knowing anything about the upgrade system. It's not even important. It helps. But, why is it there, honestly? What is this? Well, that's, um, all right. I didn't think I was going to be seeing any new weapons, but fuck, I got a new weapon. Oh, what? He just shrugged it off. Fuck you. Oh, that is not... Where am I gonna go? What the... Fuck that. I'm not losing my new gun. What was that bullshit? They didn't even make me lose it, they just kind of bullshit at me. I feel like the explosion... Okay, that, that kills me, but what the fuck? It feels like this gun doesn't do anything to the enemy. There's a big explosion, the enemy doesn't give a fuck. At all. What's this gun good for, then? It doesn't do anything. Okay, well that time I did something.
This just seems really inconsistent. Like, sometimes it kills instantly. Other times it doesn't. I like all the effects. I missed. I figure I shouldn't really have to be accurate with it, but I actually really do. Oh fuck, I hit the wall. Got them both. Oh, what? I have one, but I can't. Well, I don't want to get rid of it, but I have to. Alright, let me pick it up and see if I can find a charging station in here. There is no charging station. Alright, fuck it. Oh, I have no health. I didn't want to reload. So, one of the things that this game really needs to do right, and it doesn't do right, is the dual wielding controls. When you're dual wielding, it reverses your controls. Like, my left gun shoots with my right click. Why? That, it just, it should automatically reverse it. Yeah, not this time, you fucking asshole. Alright, what's... What is this? Is this another one of the Gauss guns? Oh, I have 15 health. How did that happen? Oh, hey. So it works really well against people. Just sometimes the robots don't quite care. Hey, what's up? I should get rid of it. Oh, God damn it. One explosion killed me. I feel like if the robots are inside of that, they should get stunned. They shouldn't be able to act out of it. Otherwise, they just kind of get punished for, like, nothing.
Whoa. Oh, there was a person over there. I was, I was just trying to kill the robot. That thing. Did the other robot die? Nope. Alright, let's recharge this real quick. Oh, it hit it closing. Oh, God damn it. You know, I honestly feel like I could probably do better without this gun. It's started time is slow when it's it's like the needler in Halo 1. How like, it, yeah, it's going to kill everything. But it's going to kill everything after they've already shot the shit out of you. Projectile is also really slow, so that doesn't help. Just fire a bunch of them. Just make explosions everywhere. That killed that mech. I'm going to die while I'm doing this. Oh god. Look at my health. I'm too s I am way too slow with this weapon. Yeah, I'm not going to use this weapon. It's too slow. That is the alt fire. Like, if I just click, nothing happens. Alt fire charges it. Once those big fuckers come around, I don't even know why they gave me this. This thing's not good. What's this one? Laser? This is significantly better. Look at all the fucks I no longer give. No charge of time, instantly kills them. Please stop shooting at me.
One already dead. Out of ammo, and I think he's charging this way. Nope, okay. Nope. Run the fuck away from that. Okay. Dropping this so I can be super fast. What the fuck? Oh, the other guy died. It's gotta be another uh, bunker to get health in. Well, it's armor, which is nice. Nope. Yes, health. Thank you. All oh, right, I forgot. This weapon is a thing. Ah. Why are my controls reversed? I hate that so much. Got it. Okay. Can you feel it, Jenna? You are the old and weak. And this is your day of doom. That is nice. Nice to finally kill that fucking shit. Yeah, that new gun is a pile of trash. The, the new gun would have been better if it didn't have a crazy long startup time, and if it actually stunned enemies. I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go, it doesn't feel like it. I think I'm supposed to be in California? They did say I was supposed to be in Hollywood, so LA, I guess? But it didn't look like it. They didn't say anywhere specific. Um... Why was that necessary? And now our clothes are back on.
right back with more from General Angle and Decapper after this. Can I stay here? I just can't be a part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all, you're ready to start a revolution? Why does everybody die instantly when they get stabbed? It's not how it works. Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus again. Feeling it, General. Down is coming. Um. This needs to happen up close. For you, Caroline. The moment you executed Terror Billy. What, what, what was that like for you? you know, it must have been so emotional. What do you mean? What the hell? You're dead! I shot you! Oh. I killed you! Oh. Ah. Yeah. Oh. 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 and sisters of the United States of America. Don't listen to that lying bitch. These Nazi fucks are all gonna get what's coming to them tonight. We are not gonna take it anymore. Do it. Americans. Americans. Wherever you are. I wish I had words of comfort to give you like the warm winds that this Nazi general sent down from above. But for me, you will not get comfort. Only the cold, agonizing truth. And the truth is this great nation has been raped and pillaged by the greatest enemy of our time. They ask you to sell your liberty, to purchase your safety, to kneel to the new order, to submit to the winds of change. But my fellow Americans, they that sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. Preach. You were born in the land of the free, you fought the kings of old and broke them. You gave your lives for the simplest but most essential truth of all. Give me liberty or give me death. Head on, Wyatt. In your veins runs the blood of revolutionaries. So tonight, brandish your guns. Your knives and your fists seek out your oppressors wherever they are and tell them we don't want nothing. 
not a thing from you. Tonight, we show those that sow the wind that we, we are the whirlwind. Well, can I skip this? Blaskowitz, while the guy's off kicking ass and revolutionizing, you and I are gonna type some loose ends by taking out any Uber commanders left on the board. Now get on the Enigma machine and the war map and do your thing. I'll be your comm support. Come on, let's pave the way for our people on the ground. So basically, the, that's the end of the game. And now you can do all the different side missions that I had not done yet. Okay. Well, that's basically been Wolfenstein entirely. I don't believe I'm missing anything. There's a bunch of side missions. I'm wondering what's happening with What's Her Face being pregnant. I'm gonna see if I can walk over to there. Hacker Central. Okay. No. <laughs> I will not help you. I do not care. She's not in here. Okay. Well, that's all I came here to figure out. So, I actually think this game is way better than, than the New Order. Uh, not, the, the New Order was already really good. And this game pretty much took everything good about the New Order and just made more of it. But made what was already good even better than what they already had. I don't have much more to say than that, but it's very rare that you have a game that's like... There's no single player shooters anymore. We don't have these. And it's kind of disappointing in a way. Because we don't, we used to have games coming out all the time that were, you know, like Fear, Half Life Two, stuff like that. And now that doesn't exist. Um, let alone do we have shooters coming out that actually have some extremely competent storytelling. And it's rare that I like really praise a game on storytelling because I usually don't care too much for storytelling. I usually just want to be like, all right, give me a shooter, let me shoot stuff, right? Like Doom twenty sixteen is one of my favorite games just because I can jump in, and it's so satisfying. And it doesn't really need a story. That just gets shoved out of the way. Meanwhile, the other Bethesda game took the extreme opposite approach and made, like, extremely in-depth storytelling. It made you care about a character that is called fucking BJ. <laughs> so this game is extremely well done. Um, if anyone was contemplating buying it, I would say go buy it, but at this point you wouldn't be watching the end of the game. So... I think that's where I'll, I'll end the stream. I'll probably cut this up into I don't know how many different parts. I'll try to cut it up by level and then upload it to YouTube. Uh, this, this game, the story felt pretty dramatic to me, to be honest. But the thing that makes it feel like an actual story compared to a soap opera is one, good voice acting, and two, good writing. The characters feel believable, and their voice acted into a way that makes them feel like actual people. Without that, your game really falls apart. 
especially if you're trying to focus on a, uh, just trying to focus on some sort of story. How do you focus on a story if you don't care about the characters? Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4. No good writing. Voice acting can be as good as they want to be, but I don't care about the characters. <laughs> At all. Like, imagine how much better Far Cry would be if it had this sort of actual storytelling. Oh wait, I already know. Blood Dragon. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Thank you, KSG. So thanks to all you guys for showing up to this incredibly long stream. I marathon this in one sitting. Uh, nine and a half hours is about the runtime of this game. I'm wondering when the expansion is going to be. I'm sure there's going to be an expansion. I'm wondering when we're going to get a game where we kill Hitler because Hitler's old as hell. Um, I feel like they tied up pretty much all the loose ends we already had, but obviously there's still more because Nazis are still around, but all the main characters that were villains and whatnot from the previous game are dead. So, I don't really know where they're going to take it in the next one, but they have plenty of places they can. So, hey, thanks to all you guys for watching the stream. Uh, if you missed parts of it, again, I will upload it to YouTube. So, I will see you guys likely tomorrow when I stream more of the cinematic mod. And I will be probably making a review of this game. Probably, Actually, I'll probably do that tomorrow when I wake up. Uh, get it done sooner since the game is brand new. But until my next stream, I'll see you guys then. And thanks all of you for watching. Did you know you can donate to this channel for free by playing video games? That's not sarcasm. Check the Gawkbox link down below in the video information. If you want to donate the old-fashioned way, check the Patreon link down below in the video information as well. And if you want to see more of me, check out my Twitch, or maybe you can donate on stream twitch.tv slash Jarek4GamingDragon.